Hi, and welcome to Counting Like It's 1479. In an earlier video, one of the commenters asked, how do you take interest rates on liabilities into account? This is super easy and is another example of why double entry bookkeeping is so widely used. There are very few special cases. Accounting for almost anything is just applying the rules you already know and making sure you're categorizing things on the correct side of the accounting equation. Since we've done a few videos using GNU Cash as our bookkeeping program, let's switch it up this time and use BeanCount, a text-based accounting program, instead. Here's Alice's ledger. Let's say Alice is going to buy a house. The house costs $400,000. Alice doesn't have enough cash in her checking account to buy this house, so she's going to take out a mortgage. This, by the way, is where I lose most of my American viewers, since anyone in San Francisco or New York will be saying, how did Alice find a house for only $400,000? That's too cheap. And everyone in rural parts of the country is saying, why would anyone spend $400,000 on a house? That's too expensive. Alice's lender is really relaxed, so they're going to let her put down just $1,000 on the house and lend her the balance at a 30-year loan at an interest rate of 4%. Wish I could find that bank. First, let's make sure we have an account for our new house. A house is an asset, so that's how we'll classify this. We'll also need a few more accounts on our books. We've created a liability account for Alice's mortgage, as well as an expense account for loan interest. Alice believes that her house is worth $400,000, so let's transfer that much money into the house asset account. That's one side of the ledger. For the other side, we're actually going to balance this with two entries. Most finance programs call these splits. So $1,000 of this is coming from Alice's checking account. Where does the rest come from? Well, that's where liabilities come in. We're going to credit our mortgage account for $399,000, or in bean count terms, add negative $399,000 to it, showing that we owe money. If we ask BeanCount what our net worth is, you can see that it reports $22,550, which correctly reflects that although we own part of this $400,000 house, much of that is actually offset by our loan. So let's say a month passes and Alice is ready to make her first mortgage payment. How do we account for this? On her loan repayment coupon or website, each payment should indicate what part of the loan is paying off interest and what is paying off principal. Since this is a made-up loan, I'm using an online amortization calculator, which tells me that Alice's first loan payment will be $1,904.89. Of that, $574.89 is going to principal, and $1,330 goes to interest. Let's enter that into bean count. Of course, the whole amount of the payment is coming out of our checking account. The other side of the ledger requires two balancing entries reflected here as splits. First, our principal payment reduces our outstanding liability on the mortgage. The remainder of the payment we actually book as an expense. Money that pays down the loan principal has essentially zero impact on our net worth. We're just transferring money from one checking account to reduce a liability. But the money we spent on our loan interest is a real expense. And indeed, if we ask bean count what our net worth is, we can see that it's gone down, and in fact, it's gone down by $1,330. Alice might not be able to afford these mortgage payments for long unless she does something dramatic about her income situation. That's how to book liabilities and interest on them. Thanks for watching. <laughs>